Hey guys, I'm this guy, Spider, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Pikmin 2! Last time, we went further down the very dark, deep, mystical, enigmatic, di uh, uh, dirty, yet very clean and mysterious, well sought out hole. I'm sorry, I can't get over that. <laughs> I can't get over the really ridiculous name. Anyways, today we're gonna get further down said hole, the hole of heroes. Now, uh, if you- oh my god, we actually we can use this to our advantage, let's uh, throw as many as we can- Yeah, These guys don't kill, they just drop a bunch of nectar! Anyways, so, if you guys remember from last time, uh, the Hole of Heroes' main gimmick is that it has a ton of bosses that we fought in at the end of other dungeons. Or caves, I suppose. And that applies right here as well. On sub-level 10, we have another, uh, boss refight. If we come over here, uh, let's- Whites, okay, good. Or, yeah, yeah. All right. As you can see, there are the eye stocks. Uh, let me actually check. Okay, yeah, we have one there too. Emperor Bulblax is back. Actually, two of them. Now, uh, this should actually be really easy. I've already uh, demonstrated how broken you can beat Emperor Bulblax. He's absolutely just so nerfed, so tiny. Literally, the boss entrance theme plays, and then, like, that's it. <laughs> and then he just dies. Um, I don't know if both of them have a treasure, but just to be safe, I'll kill both of them. It's just kill both of them. Here we go. Yeah! Awesome. Awesome. Easy peasy. Lemon peasy. Yeah, it was only that one. Okay, that's fine. Easy start, easy uh, <laughs> Easy start, easy go. Oh, no, 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 no. I indirectly... Well, okay, first of all, why are there so many of these guys? But I indirectly just Bohemian rhapsody my way through that. Anyways, what do, we, what do we got? Ooh, okay, this is awesome, actually. Here we have... A Nintendo block. Treasured gyro block. Um, this will make more sense the further down the dungeon we go, so I'll just keep on going. Here we go. Further down, delve deeper with your Pikmin. Yes! So, I mean, easy, easy come, easy go. We just beat the Emperor Bulblax out of just, just pure, just pure power with the Purple Pikmin, but also they're just super weak. It's the final boss in Pikmin 1, but oh my god, it's so nerfed in this game. It's like one of the weakest boss in this game. Anyways, Hole of Heroes sub-level 11. Okay. I think I just need to show you the layout of the room and you'll already know which boss we're fighting. It is Miss Baby Maker herself, incredibly pregnant, two babies a se or a baby every two seconds. It is her, Emperor Empress Bulblax. I almost said Emperor Bulblax. Empress Bulblax. Now, this boss, super easy. Super easy. Um Let me actually uh, hold on, give me a sec. So, uh, what you're gonna want to do before fighting it is, yeah, open up this little cave right here. I should not have done that. I should not. Okay, well, either way. Let's just throw a bunch of guys onto her. Good. Okay, whistle, whistle. Whenever it, like, tilts off to the side like that, then whistle them back. Whistle them back. Stay safe. Uh, whoa, how did I white die? Interesting. Maybe someone ate them. But anyways. Uh, yeah, after, uh, when she starts rolling around, then a bunch of boulders will fall down, and that's the- No! Oh god, no! Uh, that's a new. Okay, well, I want to go out of here so I can... That was terrifying. Anyways, um, okay, so we took care of all the babies and, uh, dealing with the Empress now. Um, this should be super easy, though. Let's get a bunch of purples on there now. Oh, wow, I, I was... Wait, no, 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 Look at her killing her own babies, that's adorable. No. Um, but the reason you want to stay in this little, uh, alcove right here is because, uh, this, uh, no boulders will fall in here, so it should be super easy if you're no. Alright, uh, STAMP! I, oh my god, I thought I actually pressed A there by mistake, and that would have been awful if I did. Anyways, uh, oh, that was good, that was good timing, that was good timing. Let's pull that off again. Let's do it quickly before that baby comes over, come on. Okay, no, dude, you're supposed to give me a warning. Okay, good. Then again, this is the third time we fought Empress Bulblax, and the last, so this should be fine. Any bosses that we fight here, it's gonna be the last time. So, hey, you just get one last little encore for these guys. Which is, I mean, I like that. I mean, Pikmin 2 is very, one, the biggest uh, strong point with Pikmin 2 
is all of the bosses and all of the dungeons. There's so many of all of them. And that really makes this game have like a ton of content. I believe it probably is the most content out of all the Pikmin games. A uh, ton of caves, tons of treasure, tons of... Stop. Uh, tons of bosses, which I mean is one of the most fun things in the Pikmin game. Not the most fun. And I know why I died there, but oh well. Um, wait, why have I not used an Ultra Spicy Spray yet? Okay, after it, next time it rolls around, then I'll just, uh, yeah, okay. I'll just use a I'll Spicy Spray now. But, um, so much content in this game. You have, uh, but the thing is about Pikmin 3, it's so gorgeous. It has three captains, and it has an actually, d why is she further back? That's odd. Alright, well, it's fine. Let's just do this. Okay, okay. Anyways, um, sorry, uh, if I seem really distracted, I don't know if this is actually in-game. I'm pretty sure it's not, but it sounds like I can constantly hear the, like, Pikmin, like, sound while they're, like, being suffocated in water. Like, blah, 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 blah. I can hear that constantly, and I... It's probably just the Ultra Spicy Spray, but that's how it sounds, and it's really distracting. Anyways, this should be it. Should be it. I'm not even gonna stop him this time. Not even gonna stop him this time. Yeah! That is it for the Empress of the Balabarbs. And from beating her, we beat the daddy, both the daddies, both, both of the surrogate fathers on the top floor. Now we got what seems to be an identical treasure, except blue colored. I said it would make more sense the further we went down. The gyro blocks, as they're called, are actually, yes, a sort of collectible in the big Nintendo shelf. It's pretty interesting. Uh, for any of you guys who know Rob, yes, it is, it's fairly related to Rob. Here we have the favorite gyro block. So that is the theme that we're going for here. Anyways, uh, ooh, we still have a Bowman. Interesting. Wait, how many Bowman do we have? Ooh, interesting. Okay, yeah, you guys will definitely be helpful. Um, alright, this should be good. You'll definitely be helpful for the... Oh my god, yeah. Alright, here we go. Double Duper with your Pikmin, yes. I, so I just thought of why the Bowman will be super helpful, and it'll be right now. Anyways, um, yeah, deeper down, we have yet another... Yet another... You thought I was gonna say boss? Nope, yet another rest floor! It looks like the subterranean complex, which uh, is awesome, awesome dungeon. Loved the subterranean complex. Uh oh, uh oh. All right, guys. So um, there was an awkward cut there, probably. Oh my god, my Elgato just did something so dumb. I really badly, badly need a new computer. Oh my god, it's breaking down. And that, uh, I want to say there's a doodle bug, which is why I'm gonna just bring whites and uh, Bulbman because I. I said just white development, please! Uh, I'll talk about what happened- Okay, you know, I'll just do it right now. There's nothing special on this floor. It's another rest floor, as I said. Anyways, um, it's actually been about- Okay, it's, okay, fine. It's just a flint beetle. It's actually been, like, about 15 minutes or 20 minutes or something since, uh, I actually, uh, recorded that whole Emperor and Empress thing. Because, oh my god, in between, it was so stupid. It was literally just- my Elgato, like, okay, well, first off, I understand what happened. It was because I just finished, I, as I believe I've said either in this episode or last episode, uh, I just finished making the trailer for my next Let's Play. Super excited. Yet, um, it's because of all the files that it took to make. Hey! It's because of all the files that it took to make that, that my, um, my disk storage actually got completely filled up. So, oh, but I'm not even, I'm not even on my computer. So, uh, because of that, I the my computer didn't have enough um, storage to process the rest of the video, so it automatically cut off right there. Good thing it didn't just like record the rest of the video and then say like, oh yeah, we don't have enough space. No, no, no. My it's been good at least that good to me. But then for like 15 minutes straight, it just was not. Oh my god, it was being so stupid. It like it was glitching up so badly. Like it would not record at all, or it would record, but like wouldn't actually record anything, it, like, first recorded, it was a complete black screen. So, right as I was about to look up Elgato troubleshooting, like, 15, 20 minutes after the whole everything dumb happened, then it decided to start working, and even now it's, it still feels a little glitchy, so I don't know, lost gyro block. So I'm gonna hope that it can at least be kind enough to me to pull me through this episode. Oh my god. Anyways, yes, I am gonna abuse the... <laughs> oh my god, apparently not. 
Uh, I'm gonna abuse the glitch for the. Oh, that's gonna be too tough. Let me just. Yeah, let me just do this. Anyways, <laughs> why are you eating the ground, Olimar? Olimar, why are you eating the ground? That's nasty. Anyways, I think we can just jump down for the next. Well, no, no, no. There's a. Uh... Wait, was that a red one? Oh, okay, it's a queen. Okay, yeah, we're gonna want to make uh, more blue p Pikmin actually because uh... for both sub levels 13 and 14, they both have water in them. So let's make some blues. Uh, blues is the most that we have right now, but, uh, yeah, we'll just convert some yellows, or, er, uh, some reds to blues. We really don't need reds that badly, so, whoa, 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 okay. So, blue, I'm blue, double D, double D, double D, double D, I'm super hyped for my next, uh, LP, though. 100% in such an awesome game. My motivation for doing my next Let's Play is because one of my friends freaking... One of my friends doesn't understand the glory of this game. Started playing it and doesn't understand how amazing the game is. And I feel like obligated to show off every single little detail of this game. To show off how amazing it is and how you could possibly be missing out on one of the greatest games of its series. But that is only something you'll understand once we make it. And we're close to the end of this Let's Play. And I'm very sad about that since this was a very long running LP. But... It's, it's true, unfortunately. <laughs> Anyways, here we are going to sub-level 13. Now, that rest sub-level, if you wanted to rest there and escape, then um, don't feel ashamed doing so, because 13, 14, and 15 are all boss sub-levels. All three of these sub-levels are bosses. And starting off with the man at legs. Yeah, I made such a big deal about how I love this boss and how deadly it is last time. We have a rematch against it. Um, now, as you can see, now it's actually a lot worse because now there's water, and it's, uh, you know. So, what the frick? Okay. Uh, there's the exit right there if you want to... I'm so dumb. I'm so dumb. So dumb! Alright. Soda. I'm so duh. Alright, anyways. So, um, we're probably just gonna want to do this with... Okay, let's see here. Alright, um, <laughs> that's awful. Let's do that again. Alright, so since he's in the water, we're probably only going to be fighting with blues and bulbmen. And, uh, blues are a lot more important here than they are in, uh, 14, but you really want blues. Um, let's get our bulbmen. Probably got to snatch some reds. Yep. It was bound to happen. Pikmin had the stupid AI, but we love him because of that. Anyway, so drag these guys over here, and this is going to be the wall that we're hiding behind. Uh, it's the biggest wall here. It's, it's, it doesn't help much, but it, it's, it's something. Then, uh, we're gonna take, uh, purples and reds here, and that's what the president's gonna have. And this is just in case it gets out of the water, but I'm not counting on that happening. So, um, for now, we're just gonna keep the president right here as backup. Uh, right about... We'll just keep it here. Alright, uh, this should be good, and this is just in case the guy comes out of water, then we'll just do even more damage to it. Alright, so, starting on off, let's get a ultra spicy potion, and, or spray, rather. Oh! Hey guys, I'm the Sky Spire, and welcome <laughs> Alright, so immediately as it comes out of the water, just hide. 35 Pikmin in total. We, we might even be able to do it with this alone. I swear, I love this boss. Just in this world where it's full with a bunch of organic creatures and a bunch of, you know, nature. You're dealing with nature and, like, the organic organisms that live here. Somehow, so deep underground, you find this machine. Who could have built this thing, you know? That really brings about the thought about what this universe really is. I bet a bunch of... Oh, God. None lost. I bet a bunch of Pikmin theories actually have the man at legs as basis, like about the Pikmin world or the Olimar and Louis, just anything to do with humans. I feel like the man at legs might have a lot to do with it since it is like, wait, oh, no, 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 oh, God, no. Okay, well, Ultra Spicy Pro, whoa, you're a trooper. Ultra Spicy Spray made this super easy, super easy. Hey, oh, God, no. <laughs> Alright, yeah, we can just do one more round and it is done. It is absolutely destroyed and done. No problem at all! It is a really awesome creature and I I'm glad that they made it, honestly. 
Anyways, that is that, and we get another gyro block for it. Um, so these guys will carry that back, and uh, once you do that, we should be good. That is that. Sub level 13, Denzo. We really did well through the whole of Heroes. Yeah, we had some Pikmin loss, but all the Candy Puff Buds made up for it, so I am happy with this run. I, I, I am. I really am. Alright, what do we got here? Another gyro black. Rob, Rob, Rob. All the Rob. I swear, when people think of Rob, they probably just think of Smash first off. And I don't blame you guys. Memorable gyro block. For Rob, I don't blame you if you first thing of Smash, but let's say, like, uh... Fox? Come on, that actually has a pretty funny reputation in Melee. Um... But there's some... Uh, shock, okay, shock, immediately. No, I was a fan of Xenoblade before Smash Bros. I am pissed at the new Xenoblade fanbase, which came in because of Smash, honestly. Anyways, that's besides the point. Alright, so here, as you can see, I am resetting, because I apparently completely forgot about my own warning about how you need blue Pikmin in sub-level 14 because there's water. Not only water, though. Dweevils! Hey, buddies! Um, one cool thing you can do with Dweevils is, again, uh, just purple Pikmin, destroy them and stun them. You, they won't even- if you stun them, they won't even have time- Crap, let me actually check. If you stun them, they won't even have time to use their elemental attack. Anyways, uh, let me check where the treasure gauge is. Crap. You can probably already tell who the boss is because of all the spiders, but... Ah, it's in the water, damn it. Damn it. Alright, okay, okay. Um... Let me get my purples, and let me, uh, just kill a couple of more dweevils, because I don't want it to... hinder anything going on. So come on, come on. Wait, what the... Come on, man, don't pick up your dead brother. Come on, we need to make this nice and easy and quick. Ah! Alright. I'm pretty sure the boss is in the water. You probably already know who it is. Uh, be careful around this guy. Be careful around this guy. Yeah! Alright. Um, it really annoys me though how, like, uh, like, the Dweevils, like, they have an attack of, like, one element, but they, they can be in water, so that's interesting. Anyways, uh, let's just get a bunch of... Yeah, again, same thing as before. A bunch of, uh... Blues and uh, Bulbman, and really? Ugh, fine. All right, come on, come on, work with me here. Work with me here. We've gone through so much. We've gone through so many caves. I think Olimar just did a little pirouette spin, and we'll do this with a good buddy, the president. Now, so you're probably in the water. Are you? Are you? Are you? Yeah! Here is Beady Longlegs once again. Beady Longlegs. It's fitting that one of the last bosses in the game is Beady Longlegs, but I mean. Hey, it's, it's Olimar's old nemesis rival guy. He's such an iconic enemy. It's always been there. All right, come on. As long as you walk like straight forward like that, just don't walk like through its le uh, through its legs. It should be fine, and uh, he shouldn't step on you. But yeah, all right. Because obviously the only way he can attack you is by stepping on you. So just oh god. Okay, good. Oh god, yeah. He's being all diagonal now. He's being all fancy. Just whenever his legs go perfectly square, then that's. Okay, good. I was worried they would keep on stopping. Alright, this should be easy, though. I don't think I'll even need to use a potion. <laughs> keep on doing that, man. Alright, should be easy. Should be super easy. Uh, BD long legs. He's not tough. Whoa! Whoa! Ah, someone died. Maybe? No? Wow! Nice! The thing is, Pikmin won. BD long legs was such a cool... Wait, I freaking whistled everyone. Oh my god. Okay, well, fine. I guess wh why not, since we're already on the ground. Oh no, he killed someone. Okay, a blue and a red, whatever. Purple! Wow, really? Wait, 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 wait. Frick, man! Really? Okay, well that's okay, that's okay. We didn't really have too much death there. One red, one blue. <laughs> Alright, one red, one blue, that's fine. Oh my god, this game's being... No, we don't want all those whites to die. We don't want all those whites to die. Come on. Let me just get this purple ready for when it starts... Ooh, look at its legs, like... His legs are smoking. <laughs> Damn, these legs are smoking! Uh, do Frick. Frick. Oh, wow, really? Oh, okay, I didn't even know he did that, but he's actually bobbing up and down now, faking us out. Okay, he's gonna go back up, and then... You're a jerk! Oh my god. Yeah, no, okay, you know what? I'm just gonna do this with yellows. Oh my god, you're an actual idiot. These Pikmin are actual idiots. Oh my god, this is an e this is so easy. It's so close to dead. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Good. Yellow. Yeah. What? 
that's so guys okay no I'm kidding <laughs> that is it oh my god it was being such a jerk near the end that was such an easy fight and then it just I don't even know what happened jeez okay thankfully it didn't last for too long it did get some guys though that's annoying but we got the fund gyro the fund gyro block and with that that should be about it uh, I think the yeah it's right here okay <laughs> so we have gone through 14 sub levels and I think we're gonna come across the end now what the heck that looked like water <laughs> all right uh, ooh you know what I think there's actually gonna be a cut in the middle of this episode I just realized how long this recording is I didn't account for the stupid recording thing but okay I guess I'll cut it in the middle somewhere probably after the man at legs fight I'm not sure you guys will know anyways here is the final floor um, let's see here, so... Okay, so the final floor, this is actually a really awesome boss fight. This is... My god, this boss is actually super cool. Uh, I'm just like wandering around, I don't even know what I'm gonna do. Uh, it's, it's fairly simple, but it's such a cool boss. Um, after going through 15 sublevels, the longest cave in the game, and through a bunch of bosses that you've fought this is actually a pretty cool end to all of it i like this boss a lot if you go into the middle of the yeah you can see a spider web you can already kind of tell what it's going to be like um right off the bat though there's four jelly floats and oh wait i'm, I'm an idiot <laughs> there's four jelly floats and um the boss will only spawn if you walk in the middle of the arena so if the jelly floats you just want to ideally just go along the edges of the arena and take care of them or, I guess if they come to you, that makes it a lot easier. But as long as you don't go in the middle of the arena to start the boss fight, it's a lot easier if you just take care of the jelly floats. Ooh, jeez, he did not put up a fight. These guys can't kill, or I guess, yeah, they can kill Pikmin. Thank you to Pikminicus for actually uh, telling me that. Thank you, very devoted viewer. I'm, I'm, I'm amazed I haven't actually mentioned you until now. Thank you for uh, signaling me through all these videos, man. <laughs> Anyways, um, but yeah, he told me uh, that the jelly floats actually can kill your Pikmin just after a long time. So, uh, for the most part, yeah, they aren't too much worry, too much hassle. New no, should be fine. Come on, go down, go down. Greater, or is it greater spot of jelly float or less? Is, I think it's, this is the greater spot of jelly float. Anyways, uh, don't walk in the middle of the arena. Or just don't walk where the treasure gauge goes bonkers. And let's get our purples. Boom! <laughs> I think all of them missed. Yeah, all of them totally missed. That. Oh my god, really? Oh my god, my weird mode is rumbling like crazy. Yeah. All right. So after we took. Uh, wait. Shoot. Okay. So uh, that's the four jelly floats. Now, as for the actual boss, I don't know. I don't think we need to get a specific pig pigment configuration. I mean. Not really. Hmm. Oh no. Okay, let me just try this with just purples and reds. I wanted to see if I can do it with just purples and reds, because the big goal is uh, dealing as much damage as possible, since this boss has so much health. Oh my- ah, uh, dang, those- okay, yeah, those purples have, uh, leaves on them. Let me just, uh, get, get some, uh, nectar real quick. Alright, alright, that's good. So... Let's see if I can just do it like this. So we're just gonna step out here into the big center of the arena No, actually just just the president step out into the bigger and boom I have gigantic feet. Look at these J's <laughs> This is the boss the raging long legs a new member of the rate of the long legs family It's pretty frick. It's actually pretty much just beady long legs except you don't need to wait for it to come down. You don't need to uh, have yellow Pikmin to reach it from up high. It has a huge orb in the center, and it has so much health. Um, it has the same concept though as uh, BD Long Legs in that it um, it will uh, what am I trying to say? It will only stop moving once all of its legs are in like a square like that. But other than that, you can pretty much hit it at any time. Super easy to hit, but ideally just wait for it to stop stomping around otherwise when your Pikmin try to retreat they'll probably get stomped on memes no wow did it kill someone three purples ouch i mean again i'm not worried about the overall purple count we have tons of them but jeez man anyways we should be fine for the most part okay go 
Uh, oh wow, okay. <laughs> oh, the speed of his feet changes each time. <laughs> the speed of his feet. The speed of his stomping changes each time as well. Uh, yeah, why not? But the reason I say uh, I just want to have these Pikmin is because I'm not. Pr I'm probably not going to be able to throw more than the amount of Pikmin I have, and you won't be able to swarm. So Crap. Okay, good. So, I mean, with whatever Pikmin we do have, might as well just have them be Pikmin that can do a lot of damage. So, yeah. Um, come on, go! Go, Mario! Olima! President! Pocketed! Pocketated! Did somebody lose flower? I don't know how that happened. And let's go! Okay, whistle, whistle, whistle. Okay, half health, half health. But yeah, this is a super easy boss, but... That doesn't mean you can be easy. Uh, that doesn't mean you can just do whatever you want. It, it's still a deal where, um... God dang it. But it's still a thing where you really need to pay attention to what you're doing. Because if you make one mistake, one mistake, you will lose, like, half or all of your Pikmin. So just be careful. Don't care if this thing is supposedly easy. God, really? You're still stopping around? Because, yeah, it can still do a lot of damage. And... Not to mention, it looks freaking cool! This thing looks awesome! No! Ah, dang it, I got two. Alright. Seriously though, this thing looks freaking cool! Just this big black, I mean, in real life, oh my god, terrifying! Look how huge it is! Um, speaking of the Longlegs family though, um, in all in all, there are the Beady Longlegs, the Raging Longlegs, the, yeah, the Man at Legs counts, and then in Pikmin 3, they introduce the Shaggy Longlegs, which is interesting. You actually climb up the legs of the, uh, wow, another purple, really? Oh, crap. Let me, okay, that, that, that's enough. Whoa! You actually climb up the legs of the Longlegs and killing uh, a bunch of the hair as it good as you go up it so it's pretty interesting i know that's not really spoilers for a future project i've already said that i'm gonna do pikmin 3 but ugh. but i think it's just a cool thing to mention the long legs family are like the most iconic enemies in pikmin so it's interesting to mention that anyways uh yeah you can tell like we've been fighting it for so long and we have a, like, just a oh my god i'm such an idiot did i waste two potions or one i think one you know what? I like being risky. Whee! Wow. Whoa. Yo, look at that. Look at that. We actually did really well. Did not shake them off while they were stopping around. So you know what? This could be it. Yeah. Look at that. And for doing it, I wasn't joking when I mentioned Rob over and over again. Anyways, it deteriorates just like the beady long legs and... Yeah, it actually is Rob. Rob's head. The oh wow, really? I'm gonna swarm it then. <laughs> um, it is our good friend, the robotic operating buddy himself. So yeah, it's interesting. You after like all the gyro blocks, you literally just get a uh, the head of Rob. Another reason why I don't blame people for like just knowing Rob as the um, as the character in Smash Bros. Like I don't blame you if it's Rob because. Being honest, the Rob peripheral, while it was, oh my god, it was such a monumental thing, it, it was bad. <laughs> it really wasn't good. It was like, the main problem was how laggy it was. The concept was, god, it was amazing, but not practical in the slightest, oh my god. But, I mean, it's definitely a memory, and it caused it to be one of my mains for a while in Smash, before my current Lucas and Corrin, but hey. Anyways, here we got the robotic operating buddy, or... The Remembered Old Buddy. Making it seem like he died, and I guess he kind of did, but hey. The Remembered Old Buddy. This is not actually an upgrade for the game. You're so close to the end, so it doesn't actually improve you in any way, shape, or form. But, it costs quite a bit. It's quite a bit of Pokos, which makes up for it. Without further ado, let's escape. And there's all the bald men. And that is that. We have completed the whole of Heroes. Quite a long dungeon. <laughs> 100% completed! Nice! Cave complete! Nicely done! We did well! We did well! 38 deaths! Oh, yeah, yeah, I know. I, that, that, that's not good, but hey. <laughs> anyway, so... That is that. We are gonna come back to the Wistful Wild. And... Now that we've completed the whole of Heroes... 
Skunner Poco count to 20,000 Pocos, there's literally only one thing left to do in the game. And uh, I'm gonna put all my Pikmin back just to um, get all the uh, leaves out there so I can um, put, get in the flowers. There's only one thing to do in the game, and that is to tackle the final cave at the far west of the Wistful Wild. There's only one cave left. Rescue Louie. That's that's all there is left. And I'm pretty sure I'm actually going to be doing it in the same day. Just to spend the second half of this day reaching there. Alright, guys. So, um, layout of my Pikmin. I'm going to reveal next episode. And um, then we'll head over there and start the, uh, the final cave. I still haven't mentioned its name. Because I actually do want to talk about its name for a little bit. But anyway, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. We went through a super hard dungeon this episode. Probably the hardest, if not the final one. But next time, we're going to be tackling the final cave in the game. Alright, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more on Pikmin 2 and all of the things Nintendo. There's a Gatlin Groink in our base, why? Oh my god, stuff like this happens, man. I'm the Sky Spire, and until then, oh, this is going to be fun.